one of my favorite things today. I've got a free afternoon and thought I'd hit up a couple of antique stores and take you with me because Kevin, aka Mr. Tidbits, made me this baker's rack from my dreams. Oh, it is gorgeous. He made it out of raw walnut wood. It's the shape is inspired by some antique baker's racks that I've seen. And good news, he's making building plans for you if um, you love it as well. Anyway, I can't wait to show you that. But before I do, I feel like I need a couple more things to style it in our home. So I'm heading into some antique stores, maybe a thrift store, see what I can find. I'm feeling like I want some more like off-white creamy old linens. Maybe a few more rustic wood pieces, maybe even some metal, definitely some pottery. Anyway, let's go see what we can find. <laughs> I hope they have what's in my mind. Um, if not, we'll get creative. Can't wait to show you. And let's go have some fun, see what we can find. These are the cutest. They're just these tiny old shoes. $44. So cute. I would actually love a tablecloth. That covers our whole table. Um, let's see if we can look out here. Oh, that's pretty. Look at this beautiful tapestry. It's 175, so it's not coming home with me. Oh, but it's so beautiful. I've always loved those two pieces right there. They've been here forever because they're really expensive. But they're so pretty. thrift store is next. I don't have a lot of luck at our local thrift store. It's nothing like the one that Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone took us to in Missouri. Oh, that one was so good. But today it's going to prove me wrong. I can feel it. <laughs> Let's go see. This is not what I'm looking for, but that's actually a really pretty rocking chair. I love the bones. If it was reupholstered, that'd be really pretty. There's also a lot of these chairs for five bucks. Hmm. There's a lot of frames per usual at the thrift store. I actually have had the thought to frame more of our family photos and put them on the piano. So I think I'm gonna grab these. Always be safe, my friends. Buckle in your antiques. <laughs> All right, I've done enough damage. Let's go home and let me show you what I got. Let's first look at my antique store finds. I think I did pretty good. Um, I thought this pig cutting board or wood cutout would be super cute on the baker's rack. 
and I found some linens. I did not find a tablecloth big enough for this table. It's kind of a unique size. So darn about that. But um, there's a couple of grain sacks. I just didn't pay more than I think six bucks for any of these linens. So a couple of grain sacks. I just thought they were a nice texture. I could even maybe make napkins or tea towels out of them. This one was a good white one. It might just, you know, be good as a little square on the table. This is a little bit of a runner, but I thought it was a pretty texture and color. And this one I thought maybe would be fun for like Valentine's Day or even Christmas. So I just grabbed the ones that I thought <laughs> I didn't need to pay very much for that would still work to style this baker's rack. Okay, these are some of my favorite finds. They were like four or five dollars each. Um, but these are like some old butter paddles, which actually my husband will probably use. He likes to make butter from the milk that we get at the dairy. And just another little wooden spatula, a couple of old wooden spoons. I really like the shape. This actually says Kellogg's, so I'm guessing it might be something that they used to make. Okay, my kids are loving this. I don't know why I bought it, but <laughs> I knew it'd be fun. You're supposed to be able to, like hang it on a wall. It was labeled like like a note holder or something. So it's a little door that leads nowhere, but you could stash stuff in there. Um, the kids actually want to put it on a tree outside. It's like a little fairy door. I actually think that that would be adorable. <laughs> All right, I really love this wooden box. I think it will look great on one of the shelves in the office or even to store some kitchen utensils on the baker's rack. I'm not sure yet, but I do love that. This is a darling little wicker basket, although it looks kind of nasty. I'm gonna try to scrub that. But I thought you could really store a lot of fun things. Oh, I can't get open, there we go. And there on the baker's rack, maybe some of the linens, I don't know. I, I just think that texture will look good on it. Here's a unique little box, I think can be stuck somewhere in the office on the shelves. It's got dragonflies on there. All right, I was hoping to look out a little more with pottery. They're just so expensive. <laughs> so I got this one. Those are green stripes. So I think that's a good size for like sourdough or just mixing small batches of baked goods. This little gravy pour. What's the name? I don't know. I thought it was a cute iron stone. This is like those French crocs, but it's creative co-op. I didn't pay very much for it, so I know it's a it's not antique, but I still think it will look good, maybe even holding those wooden spoons. And then this big brown crock was half off. It was a really good price. So I think, I don't know, I'm always looking for a good deal on a crock. I don't pay too much for them because it's highly likely that someday they'll get broke with kids. <laughs> Okay, this is one of my favorite, favorite finds. It's an English platter. It had a tag on there that said it was from 1870s-ish. Um, oh, I love that. I think that looks super pretty hanging up on, or propped up on the baker's rack. So excited about that one. Lastly, we have this little record player I just got for cheap on Amazon. And I'm always looking in the discount records or something that kids might enjoy listening to. This one seemed fun. It's got some fun little old prairie songs. I think they'll just have fun with that. As expected, I did not luck out at the thrift store, but I did get a few things. So let me show you. Here's this old school lock box. Um, I'm guessing it's good for like holding change and stuff. It might come in handy someday for that purpose, but I think um, it will actually look good styled in the office shelves. I hope so anyway. <laughs> Three bucks, if not, it'll just go back to the DI. Okay, so I got the collection of frames that I'm wanting to put some of our family photos in and display on the piano. Just kind of that homey, lived-in look, I feel like is what it will add. Kind of cluttery, but I'm hoping it will be, um, I 
I think I'll just put black and white pictures in here, make it a little more cohesive, a little antique looking. So did grab a collection of those. Um, now I need to go through our photos and decide what to put in them. Then this was at the DI. Looks like an egg holder, it's like a homemade egg holder. And we're about to do the pantry. And I know there'll be a lot of hooks in there. So I think that might look cool in there. Then I also found this H&M shawl, I think is what it is, two bucks. But I actually think it would be pretty as kind of like a table runner or something like that. So that's why I grabbed it. Linen's always kind of gross me out in the thrift store. I need to wash that. I got this cute little concrete turtle. I, I don't love knickknacks very much, but with these office shelves, I feel like it needs a little bit of them. So I thought that turtle was actually pretty cute. I like the colors and the texture. And then here's another little knickknack for the office shelves. My hubby likes golfing. I just thought that was fun, would look cute. Propped up on maybe some books or something but between them. And then this box, kind of regretting, but if it doesn't look good, like I'm not sure about the wood tones for the office shelves. So if it doesn't look in there, my kids actually need a little more like boxes for storage in their loft in their room. So I think we'll be able to use that somewhere. I think this video is getting a little long. So I'm just gonna give you a little peek huh? <laughs> of the baker's rack. Then I'm gonna play around and style it and come back and show you in another video. Don't get mad at me, but I don't wanna make this too long. So I'll be back, we'll talk soon, and I can't wait to show you more.